I'm Johnny Scoville, and this is Chase the Heat. Pod season 2024. It's almost here, and I can't wait. So I'm going to eat some peppers right now. These aren't screaming hot peppers, but they're delicious peppers. And my tolerance, I, you know, look, here's the deal. This is something that happens every year. It happens, it's happening constantly, actually. It's not even every year. It's happening probably all the time. Somebody will see a video of me, whether it's eating something like, like I don't know, a challenge or something, and they think, well, that's just how he is. That's how I was that day. My tolerance is so low right now. I'm just being honest with you. It's just the way it is. It's, you know, every year this happens. All right, pods, at the end of pod season, talk to me. My, I can eat, you know, glowing embers at the end of pod season, but it's the beginning of the, you know, it's been a dry spell of peppers. So my tolerance is super low. Now, the fun part about that is these hurt. Now, these won't hurt too much. I hope, hopefully they will. But I, I like that. That's kind of what I'm into. Just being honest with you. Did the, the why thing so long. Why? Why do you do this? Why do you do this? Jalapeno. I kind of dodged it. And, oh, it's sweet and delicious. I kind of dodged the question. Not dodged it. I would answer it, but the bottom line is I like pain. Yeah. It's a weird thing to say because people look at you weird. It is what it is. Let me qualify that. I don't like headaches or toothache or backache. Almost every other pain I can, I can get into. Pepper pain just does it for me. The pepper I ate, the pepper I just ate, is a is probably the penultimate um, gateway pepper. And the biggest reason for that is they're so widely available; they're everywhere. You know what I mean? You can't go into the average grocery store and buy a seven pot primo or a chocolate primatale. You know what I mean? It's just not going to happen. So. Um, Jalapeno is just a, a, a starter pepper. It's like everybody's starter pepper. There's the, the uh, and I talk about this in pepperology, and every time I eat a, pep, uh, a jalapeno, it's worth bringing up. There's the legend of the rogue jalapeno. If you buy 10 of them, they say that one of them is going to be hotter than the rest. This is one of the other few peppers that do that to me. Um, I've had it with jalapenos, with banana peppers, and with... Um, Fresnos. Every once in a while, you get a really rogue Fresno. I got one in filming super hot with the CEO of Church's Chicken staying right next to me, Joe. And I got a rogue pepper. It's a prettier pepper to look at. The jalapeno is better tasting. Now, they say muscle has memory. I'm working out, and my muscles are coming back. When they say muscles have memory, it means that if you've been there before, it's easier to get back there if you start working out again. It knows where it's been. Peppers. Like, like pepper pain, and, and, and like my tolerance is really low right now. My stomach tolerance is really low right now. So the beginning of pod season, I have some super hots on the way right now. Some chocolate soup brats is going to be great. Um, they're going to hurt me. The beginning of the pod season, I get cap cramps really easily. But like muscles have memory. 
this is the eighth season of me going at it really, really hard. I get it back pretty quick. But I earn it. I, I go at it hard, you know. This is a much less distinguishable flavor versus your jalapeno. Your jalapeno is a much more notice, recognizable flavor. Um, I reckon for a non chili, these would be pretty hot. You'd probably be, like, if some, you're not used to peppers, you wouldn't be talking. And even if you're a chili head, a lot of times, what, what happens with most people when they eat ch hot stuff, their, their yapper shuts down quickest. You're like, all of a sudden, you can't talk. I've been there, so I know. Pepper season is all, almost here. Got some very cool stuff that is happening. Today I did the beard quicker. The feedback is, I had more people saying they like the, it's a different look there than the, just the single. So I'll keep it for a little while. The next one is a legendary pepper. This pepper has probably stopped more would-be chili heads than any other pepper there is. I mean it. I'm sure there's been a ton of people who've eaten ghost peppers and just say, that's it. Pack up the tent, go home. It's not for me. I'm sure there's a ton of people who ate Reapers who say, wow, it's not for me. But there's a lot more people who ate this and said, man, it's not for me. And here's why. <clears throat> Pardon me. This is a pepper I didn't like when I started my channel. Go back, look at the videos. I was like, I don't like them. I didn't like them. I didn't like the taste of them. Now, I love the flavor of them. My tastes have changed a lot over the years. But, Um, the reason that pepper has shut down more aspiring, would-be, wannabe chili heads and people that really were on their way because the pepper I just ate, an orange habanero, doesn't burn like a normal pepper burns. It has, and most people will tell you this, and then if, you know, if you eat peppers, you're like, you know what I'm going to say. It stings, right? So you got, you know, if you've eaten more hotter, then you look back on it and go, yeah, it stings. But and you know that other peppers beyond that don't sting; they burn. But if you're just climbing ladder and you and you see all these super hot peppers past habanero, and you're climbing the ladder and you get to habanero and you eat it and it does this, just this assault on your mouth. You know, your tongue, your throat, your the roof of your mouth, your lips, just stings like you're getting a tattoo. And you and, and that's the hottest thing you've ever had. And you're looking beyond that, and there's a mountain of super hots hotter than a habanero. You're like, whoa, if this is what a habanero does, what do you think those man, I'm done. I don't you know. Find a new hobby. Peppers weren't for me. Please understand something. Habaneros sting. They do, they have a sting, but other peppers hotter peppers they don't i think someone once told me i don't know somebody else said that there's a different pepper they once had that stung like a habanero to me i've eaten a lot of peppers i've never eaten a pepper that stings like a habanero does and i've eaten you know i probably i wonder if this probably it's probably not something you could even figure out
I bet you I've eaten more vi peppers on video than probably anybody else in the world. Maybe not. Maybe there's somebody that has. But I've eaten a lot of peppers, and habaneros sting, other peppers burn. So this year, don't get parked on habaneros. If you if you get to a habanero and you're like, oh my gosh, you know what I suggest? Go to the next hot, get, get a scotch bonnet. It's similar heat level, but burns doesn't sting, to me anyway. Get, get a ghost pepper, and instead of munching the whole pod, because that's going to give you the same effect as, I mean, you don't want to eat something that's way, way past your comfort zone unless you like pain. Because if you don't like pain, what's going to make you do is go, it's going to make you tap out and go, ah, it's not for me. If you like pain, then go for that. You know what I mean? That's kind of what I did. But take a, get a ghost pepper and just get a sliver of it because you'll get a taste of, of a different pepper and you'll get an idea of the heat without the full commitment of a whole pepper. In doing so, you will still be raising your tolerance, I promise you. Who's eating peppers with me this year? Is it you? You. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Is it? You gonna eat some peppers in this year? Come on. All right. So the heat of my mouth got to... Uh, two but my tolerance is still wicked low very excited for these peppers to get here because they're gonna hurt in the description box you're gonna see all the normal stuff you know what you're gonna see is it yeah you know what this is the coolest t-shirt there are some pretty cool chili t-shirts around but honestly get a look at this t-shirt This, I think, is the coolest t-shirt because I'm a capsaicinist. It's so funny. Over the years, if you know many times, people have confused sadist with masochist. It happens, I bet it's happened a hundred times. <clears throat> that sounds like a lot. A hundred? Is that not a lot? I think, to me, it feels like a lot. I'm sure it's happened a hundred times. They'll say, you're a sadist. I'm like, and if they were saying that in a video where I was like burning my brother, I could, I could almost go, yeah, well, you know. Um, or if I was burning like College Boy or Big Al. But it wasn't. These are videos of me by myself. They're like, or like a, usually a really hard challenge. Like, man, you're a sadist. <laughs> I'm like, no. No. See, I'm a masochist, right? I like pain, Yeah. You're the sadist. You 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 like watching some pain, and, and I'm not judging. It's cool, man. In fact, we have such a good relationship. I I like her myself. You like watching it, right? But people always seem to flip flop that. Well, now there's a new one, capsaicinist, somebody who embraces pain because a masochist receives it, sadist gives it, but a capsaicinist hugs that and embraces the pain. All right. So, in the description box, you're going to see a link to, to get your cap in this shirt. Get one. They're pretty cool. Uh, right there is my son, Johnny Scoville Jr. Makes great content. Good kid. Please follow him. Give him a follow. Right there is Tommy Scoville, my brother. Good dude. The lifeboat. We're all in the same boat, so check it out. Right there, all the challenges I've done thus far, 566 of them to be exact. We're about to start adding to that. Right there. Pepperology. Pepper season's about to be upon us. And it's, if you're brand new because it's super hot and you're like, you're kind of excited about this, wait to see what happens. When, there's no peppers around, right? It's like I'm doing videos and sauces and whatnot, a lot of whatnot. And then all of a sudden, like a, just like a faucet, every single pet video is a new different super hot. Chocolate, yellow, orange, red, peach. Uh, from mild to melt your face off and make you forget about whatever anything any book says. For real. It's pepper season. So, if you're brand new to pepper season, you're going to eat some peppers with me. Pepperology. I love you guys. I'm Johnny Scoville, and this, this was Chase the Heat.